Welcome to Trending Places Channel. A visit to the fairy tale town of Obidos, Portugal. Bidos is a town in a municipality in the Leria district, the Oeste area, and the former Estremadura province. There are roughly 3,100 people living in the town proper. The municipality had 11,772 residents in 2011 and covered 141 square kilometers. The romantic medieval town of Obidos in central Portugal, about an hour's drive from Lisbon, is definitely worth a visit, even though larger towns in Portugal tend to get the most of the attention. Obidos was given as a wedding gift by King Denis of Portugal to his wife in 1282, she had previously indicated a like for it. The only way to truly enjoy Obidos's fairy tale charm is to take a leisurely stroll through its winding, cobblestone alleyways. Traditional homes are whitewashed on the back streets to reflect the sweltering summer sun. Bougainvillea and geraniums, which contrast with the yellow or blue building trim, the colors of the royal coat of arms, are among the vibrant flowers that adorn entryway and window sills. Explore stores, eateries, and other attractions as you stroll along Rua Dereta, the town's main thoroughfare. The well-known castle that has been transformed into a luxurious hotel is called Posada Castelo Orbidos. The Posada, one of Portugal's seven wonders, is magnificent and enchanting. Both a fantastic restaurant and a quaint bar are present. You can choose to spend your time in the castle's actual medieval quarters or nearby Casa do Castelo, which has more of a village-like atmosphere. Obidos has been designated a UNESCO Creative City of Literature, a prestigious designation that recognizes a city's breadth, depth, and excellence in literary endeavors. In Obidos, libraries, museums, galleries, homes, public areas, and markets are all well incorporated with books. Obidos boasts more than 500,000 books while having a population of just over 3,000. It's entertaining to look for books in all the unexpected places. In a former church, there is Livraria de Santiago. The bookshop Livraria da Adega was formerly a wine cellar. There are books for sale all around the walls of the Obidos post office. Folio is an annual international literary festival held in Obidos that brings together writers, readers, musicians, and artists from all over the world. On the central plaza, King Afonso I. Enriques constructed a church after retaking Obidos from the Moors. The primary church in Obidos is St. Mary's Church. The building has been rebuilt, and the interior is lined with lovely tiles, despite the fact that much of it has been ruined over the years. Spend some time looking around the square, where in the 15th century a pillory was used to humiliate and punish criminals. In honor of the fisherman who found Queen Eleanor's son when he passed away close to the Tagus River, it is embellished with the picture of a net. Obidos is the ideal location for a medieval market and fair given the walled city's medieval past. Between the middle of July and the beginning of August, this annual event takes place. As you are surrounded by vibrant banners and flags, dressed up fairgoers, roving minstrels, jesters, dancers, and other performers, you will feel as though you have been transported to the Middle Ages. Numerous vendors sell food, 
handcrafted items, apparel, accessories, oddities, period artwork, and food. Other highlights include reenactments of a joust and a medieval feast. To participate in the celebrations, visitors are urged to dress in costume. The annual Obidos International Chocolate Festival is the best event for chocolate lovers. Every year has a different subject. In the past, these themes have included the natural world, music, love, and climate change. People congregate during the festival to enjoy, create, and admire chocolate in all its splendor. Visitors can take in live entertainment, demonstrations, tastings, workshops, and exhibitions while watching chocolate artists build masterpieces. Products of every kind are offered by chocolate dealers. For this well-liked event, you should purchase your tickets as soon as possible. Fresh seafood abounds in the Obidos Lagoon. Local fishermen catch fresh clams every day, which is a delicacy. At the restaurant at the Posada Castello Orbidos, give them a try. A great lunch is guaranteed when you eat in the old Orbidos castle. When you're exploring the main street, you'll want to stop at a quirky tavern called Ba Ibn Eric Rex. Have a taste of Guinea, a sweet specialty liqueur made with locally grown cherries. It's served in a small glass or often in a tiny chocolate cup that you eat after enjoying your drink. Ba Ivy and Eric Rex has only one food option on the menu, Lingvika sausage flame grilled on your table and served with cheese from the Azores and homemade bread. Together with the wacky decor, there's plenty to enjoy here. Hope you liked the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.